Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to do a little pudding tad. So what I've done is I've sealed them as usual with a mix of PVA and water. So just half and half and mixed it up, brushed both sides and I've let it dry. I'm going to do um, green stems and I think some little red and orange flowers. The background is going to be white iridized. I've got a beautiful, these are made out of shell for his eye. Little pink triangle stained glass and these ones here are called Kermit. So they are 20 mil stained glass Kermit and I'm going to use some Kermit diamonds to make little leaves. Right, so we'll start by cutting these in half and in half again. And in half again. So just work on getting a little pile of those and then we can start piecing together our stem. Just get a marker and make a mark of where you need to make your cut mark. Makes it a bit easier when you pick it up. I have to do a couple of little angle cuts. Just ever so slightly, that just helped to keep that curve going around. So take your marker and just see where you need to cut the angle. So you want to follow the line around, see it's got a slight kink in it. So start off with your tile. Can see this here. So I want it to go that way. So I'm going to take just a little angle cut like that. We'll just help it to flow around, so it'll be our first one. Second one, not too bad, but I'm going to put a little bit of an angle cut just there. just helped to fit in our other one nicely. Take from a 20mm tile, cut in half, in half again. And I'm just going to soften the two bottom points. So I'm going to take a little bit off each side. Now I'm going to give it a little scoop cut by holding my cutters at an angle. And that's a little scoop and it's like a little bud. Alrighty ho, we'll start our little leaves. So you can use the diamonds. I'm just softening those points, cutters on an angle. Just ever so slightly, just softening that point. Otherwise, if you are using stained glass squares, you can make your own leaves. Take the opposite corners off. And then you just want to soften those points. that's one leaf. The other thing you could do is do a longer leaf, so that's cutting that diagonally. So it's not quite in a diamond shape. And I'm going to take this point here off. 
this sort of gives you a longer leaf and then you want to just shape these points here. That could be a longer leaf if you like. Alright, time for tidy workspace. Always keep, when you're cutting glass, always keep your workspace wet so you don't get any shards of glass. Right, so now we're going to put in some little berries and we're also going to shape some leaves and some orange, orange and red. So with our shaping of our leaves, we're just going to cut our glass diagonally. Adjust the size if we need to by doing a smaller cut. See how these ones are for now. Okay, softening those points. That's the bottom. And these little pointy bits here. You're probably gathered now that I like working with stained glass. It's just nice and easy to shape, flat both sides. It doesn't fade outside. It's just a lovely medium to work with. So we'll play around with what we've got here and then we can just shape them down a bit smaller if we need to. So softening the points off. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit longer than what we've got. Right, so now we can start to shape them. So now I'm just going to cut them a little bit smaller. That's going to fit in nicely there. Perfect. And this one. Okay, same thing again. We might do a smaller red one now. I'm just going to cut some squares. That's going to give us a smaller petal. Take the two opposite corners off. And then just soften these points here. Same thing with those, we'll just work them in so they fit in nicely. You might put that little fat one in the middle. I oh, shouldn't say fat, a little slightly chubbier one. <laughs> and that's going to be sitting in there nicely. And then same thing, see how we go with this one. I'm going to take a little scoop. Just out of here, you'll find by doing a little scoop here, it makes it just sit in a little bit nicer in here. Cut us in an angle. So you get that nice little scoop and that just slots in nicely in there. I might actually pop those ones up there. Quite like the bigger one there. I'm going to put the little one down here. That's better. Alright, we'll pop his eye on. I'm just going to shape his little pink ear a wee bit. So we've got a triangle I'm using here, but I am just going to take a little bit off the side of it. Okay, and some whiskers. I'm using 10 mil 
square tile and I'm just going to cut them on an angle like this here and I want to just get some really skinny little shapes so it's just kind of lucky dip but let's see what we've got perfect just some nice little slivers for his whiskers just a tiny little bit there let's see what we've got Soften that point a wee bit. It's pretty good. But I like to draw these lines in because I'm a little bit more of a visual person. So it just helps me determine what I want to cut when I'm cutting the what is going to be white background. So when I'm cutting the white stained glass. If I just draw lines and I just I can visualize the cut it's a really good habit to get into so we'll start here so this will be one piece you're kind of just sectioning off the pieces so you get nice clean bits in there 